Hey everyone, welcome back to Life on Wheel, where we dive into the incredible world of aviation and the machines that keep our skies and seas safe. I'm your host, and today we're taking to the air, or should I say, over the ocean, with one of the most advanced maritime patrol aircraft ever built, the Boeing P-8 Poseidon. Specifically, we're talking about the cutting-edge 2026 models that are set to redefine naval operations worldwide. Picture this. A sleek jet derived from the commercial Boeing 737, but transformed into a high-tech hunter that prowls the waves for submarines, tracks enemy ships, and even steps in for life-saving search and rescue missions. These aren't just planes, they're the eyes and ears of modern navies, and with deliveries ramping up for 2026, they're about to make waves in fleets from the US to Canada and beyond. Buckle up as we explore every detail of this powerhouse. Let's start from the ground up or rather, the runway. The P-8 Poseidon isn't some experimental prototype, it's a battle-tested evolution of the P-3 Orion, that trusty old turboprop that's been patrolling since the 1960s. But by the mid-2000s, the U.S. Navy knew it needed something faster, higher flying, and more capable to counter evolving threats like stealthy submarines and fast surface vessels in contested waters like the South China Sea or the Arctic. Boeing won the contract in 2004 to build this multi-mission marvel, basing it on the reliable 737-800 airframe to cut costs and leverage commercial parts. The first flight happened in 2009, and by 2013, it was operational with the Navy. Fast forward to today, and over 155 P-8s have been delivered globally, logging more than 660,000 flight hours without a single major mishap. But the 2026 variants, they're the next level, incorporating the latest upgrades from the Increment 3 Block 2 program, which rolled out advanced software for better sensor fusion, enhanced cyber defenses, and seamless integration with unmanned drones like the MQ-4C Triton. These birds are designed for 25 years of grueling service, up to 25,000 flight hours each, even in the harshest icing conditions over polar routes. Now, let's talk specs because this is where the P-8 really shines. Imagine a jet that's 129.5 feet long, with a wingspan stretching 123.6 feet, standing 42.1 feet tall on the tarmac. It's powered by two CFM 56 to 7B turbofan engines, each packing 27,300 pounds of thrust, allowing it to hit a max speed of 490 knots, that's about 564 miles per hour, and cruise at altitudes up to 41,000 feet. But don't let the jet speed fool you, this thing can loiter low and slow at just 60 meters above the waves, sipping fuel efficiently thanks to those high-bypass engines. The maximum takeoff weight is a hefty 189,200 pounds, with internal fuel tanks holding nearly 34 tons, giving it a ferry range of over 4,500 nautical miles without refueling. And speaking of refueling, it's got an in-flight probe for aerial tanking, extending patrols to virtually unlimited endurance. For the 2026 models, Boeing's tweaking the aerodynamics slightly for even better low-level handling, and the open system's architecture means future upgrades, like AI-driven threat prediction, can be plugged in without ripping the plane apart. Step inside, and it's like entering a high-tech command center on wings. The crew numbers 9. Two pilots up front in a 737-style cockpit loaded with glass displays and fly-by-wire controls for pinpoint accuracy, plus a relief pilot and in-flight tech for long hauls. Then there are five mission operators manning up to seven consoles, each with multi-function screens for real-time data crunching. The interior is reinforced for military ops, with a bomb bay and 11 hardpoints, five internal stations and six external, for a serious arsenal. We're talking MK-54 lightweight torpedoes for dunking subs, AGM-84 harpoon anti-ship missiles for surface threats, AGM-84HK slam or standoff weapons, depth charges, and even mines. It can drop up to 129 sonobuoys, those floating acoustic listeners that ping submarines from afar, and the new 2026 config includes the high-altitude anti-submarine warfare weapon capability, or HAAWC, letting it launch torpedoes from 25,000 feet high. No wonder it's a nightmare for any foe hiding underwater. But the real magic is in the sensors, folks, the eyes that see what others can't. 
At the heart is the AN-APY-10 multi-mode radar in the nose Radome, a beast that handles synthetic aperture radar for high-res imaging of ships and coastlines, inverse synthetic aperture for profiling moving targets like periscopes or small boats, and even ground moving target indication for overland ops. It's got 360-degree coverage and can spot a submarine periscope from 200 miles away. Then there's the AN-APS-154 electro-optical infrared turret under the fuselage, a Euro-stabilized camera with laser rangefinder and illuminator for day-night spotting of survivors or smugglers. For sub-hunting, the acoustic suite is four times more powerful than the old P3s, processing signals from sonobuoys in real-time with multi-static active sonar, meaning it can bounce pings off other sources for stealthy detection. Add the AN-ALQ-240 electronic support measures for sniffing out enemy radars, a digital magnetic anomaly detector for subtle sub-magnetic signatures, and SIGINT gear for intercepting comms. In the 2026 upgrades, L3 Harris is overhauling these with better AI algorithms for clutter rejection and automated threat classification, making it smarter at sorting friend from foe in jammed environments. Operationally, the P8 is a force multiplier. In anti-submarine warfare, it searches vast ocean expanses, deploys sonobuoys in patterns, tracks the quietest diesel electric subs with passive listening, and strikes with precision torpedoes, all while coordinating via Link 11 and 16 data links with ships, allies, and drones. For anti-surface ops, that radar locks onto fast attack craft or carriers, launching missiles from standoff range. ISR missions. It provides persistent eyes over literals, feeding video and intel to command centers worldwide via secure SATCOM. And it's not just war. In search and rescue, it can drop life rafts or meds over huge areas, as seen in real ops after typhoons or shipwrecks. The 2026 fleet will emphasize interoperability, linking with NATO assets and even overland sea too for hybrid threats. Boeing's global sustainment network keeps them flying 24-7 with costs down 30% from early builds thanks to commercial efficiencies. Globally, the P-8's a hit. The U.S. Navy has 128 in service, based at Whidbey Island and Jacksonville, with reserves transitioning by 2023. Australia's Royal Air Force flies 12 from Edinburgh, patrolling the Indo-Pacific. India's P-8I variant has extra Indian tweaks like a magnetic anomaly detector for 12 planes. The UK's RAF operates 9 from Lossiemouth, Norway has 5, New Zealand 4, and South Korea's getting 6. Germany's first arrived in 2025, replacing P3Cs. And the big news, Canada just locked in 16 for $7.7 .7 billion USD, with first deliveries in 2026-2027 from Nova Scotia and British Columbia bases, full capability by 2033. These 2026 Canadian birds will feature cold weather hardening for Arctic patrols, securing vast northern approaches against subs and smugglers. Even nations like Denmark, Italy, and Malaysia are eyeing them or leasing for interim needs. With 183 on order, the P-8's dominance is locked in. So, why does this matter to us on life on wheel? Because in a world of rising sea tensions, from Russian subs, in the Atlantic to Chinese carriers in the Pacific, the 2026 P-8 Poseidon ensures freedom of navigation and quick response to disasters. It's faster to seem than props, flies higher to evade threats, and packs tech that saves lives and deters aggression. Boeing's not stopping. Future blocks promise laser weapons or hypersonic missile integration. If you're into aviation that blends commercial smarts with military might, this is it. What do you think? ready for the P-8 to guard your next ocean cruise? Drop a comment below, like if you're hyped, subscribe for more wheel-to-wing adventures, and hit that bell. Thanks for rolling with life on wheel, see you in the skies.